Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to make a follow-up video from my last video where I introduced you to a really neat Bitcoin-only wallet called Blue Wallet. In that video, I created a single SIG Bitcoin wallet using Blue Wallet, and I created several different kinds of multi-SIG wallets, and I went through it really quickly. I got to thinking after I finished that video that I need to go through the final technique where I used multiple hardware multi-sig configuration and go through that again to show you how to create that multi-sig wallet using multiple hardware devices. And I need to show you a demo transaction, particularly out of the wallet. Into the wallet is no big deal. It's just like sending Bitcoin anywhere. You send it from one wallet into the multi-sig wallet and it ends up in the wallet. But sending Bitcoin out of a multi-sig wallet, particularly when you have multiple pieces of hardware involved, can be a little bit tricky. And I'll show you how to do that in today's video. That sounds good. Let's get to it. I got some recording juice, so we're all set. And we're going to start by downloading and installing the Blue Wallet. Now, I've already done that, but if you wanted to do that, or you haven't done it yet, go to the App Store on your phone, Go to the App Store on your Mac, which is what I'm filming this on, and download the Blue Wallet. I'll show you what that looks like. Here we are in the App Store on my Mac, and this is the Blue Wallet application right here. And I have already downloaded it, so it won't say Get, but yours might say Get. I'm going to go ahead and open that, and I will see you on the inside. All right, here we are in the Blue Wallet application on my Mac. I have downloaded the same application on my iPhone, and I have another piece of equipment I'm going to use, or another piece of hardware I'm going to use to round out this multi-sig wallet, and that is the trusty Blockstream Jade. And I used that in the last video. I'm going to go into a little bit more depth on that in this video, but I don't have an overhead camera, so it's a little hard to see this tiny little screen. I'll do the best I can. Okay, so when we open the Blue Wallet application, we're greeted with this welcome screen here, and you can take a stroll through the settings. There's some really neat things to do in here with regard to security. I have already assigned a password to this application and set up my Touch ID, and I've set up a plausible deniability account. Again, that is explained in the previous video. So we're going to get right to it. We're going to create a multi-hardware, multi-sig wallet with a two of three quorum or configuration in the blue wallet on my Mac. So we start by selecting the Add Now button or this plus button right here, and then we have a choice of different kinds of wallets. This top one is just a simple, regular Bitcoin wallet, a single signature wallet, and you just press create. It provides you with the key and you're done. I mean, it is ridiculously fast. But today we're looking at multi-sig wallets, so we're going to select the vault option. You can import a wallet here if you have a multi-sig wallet backup file to import or QR codes, or you can simply create one. And we're going to create one today. And then we're going to check our settings. We want the quorum to be two of three. That is two signatures are required and three private keys are produced. So two seed phrases are required to sign an outgoing transaction out of three. Okay. All the rest we're just going to leave alone. Press done and let's start. And now I'm going to do this exact same thing on my phone. I'll be right back. Okay, I have the identical screen up on my phone just so you can verify that right here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we would normally create a new key. But since I did this in the last video, I'm simply going to reuse the same key from that first video by importing it. So I'm going to click the import button. I'm going to type that key in here and then I'm going to press import and now we'll be right back. Okay. Vault key number one is in place. That is the same key from the last video. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my phone. I'm going to import the first key rather than create because I just don't want to create another wallet. Import. And I'm going to copy and paste that key into my phone. Then both my phone and my Macintosh will have the first key done. I'll be right back. Okay, I did the same thing on my phone. Now the both the Macintosh Blue Wallet application and my phone Blue Wallet application have vault key number one in. Now, you need to know that those are different keys. So I use the first key on my Mac, I use the second key on my phone, and then the third key is going to come from the Jade. But the second key on my Mac is going to be the first key 
on my phone. What? So I'm going to, we're going to create identical wallets by using the same three keys, just in different orders. So what we're going to do is we're going to import this key from my phone by scanning a QR code produced by my phone. And on my phone, I'm going to be pressing this share button. When I press the share button on my phone, this QR code will come up and I'm going to scan it on my computer. Once I do that, it's going to mess up the video. So I'll have to cut right here and then I'll be right back again. Okay, so I'm going to share my first key from my phone. It's going to create a QR code. And on my computer, I'm going to press scan. There's me. There's the code. And now the key is imported. Actually, I'm not going to fix the video. I'll do that in a minute. Now on my phone, I'm going to press import just like I did on the computer. And I'm going to share my first key from my computer to the second key on my phone. And I'm going to scan that QR code. And now if you'll see, I have vault key number one and vault key number two done on my phone and vault key one and two both done on my Mac. Now I need the third key. I'm going to fix the video and I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully the video is fixed and we can move on to the third key. So this Blockstream Jade is really cool because it's one of the few hardware wallets that has a built-in camera. Pretty cool, which allows you to use this as a QR code scanner and it can operate by never connecting to your computer at all, which is really cool. My seed phrase, my very private seed phrase is stored in the device. What I'm going to do, I'm going to temporarily scan a seed phrase from an online site and that will use the seed phrase as the active seed phrase in the device. And then I'm going to share that seed phrase with the blue wallet and that's going to be the third key. I know that sounds a little weird, but hang in there. So what we're going to do is going to go over to a seed phrase generator on the internet and it's going to create a QR code for me to scan with the blue wallet. Let me turn this on first, get it ready to scan and I'm going to go over to a seed phrase generator. I already have the QR code loaded, scan QR code and I'm going to scan it and that is it. Let's go back over to blue wallet and share this seed phrase with a QR code with the blue wallet scanner. Okay, now we need that third key, right? So we're going to import it. We're going to scan and first we're going to set the option of scanning this or sharing this QR code of the seed phrase. We're going to scan or import a file. And there we go. That's it. Okay, so all three seed phrases are set on my Mac. Now we're going to back go over to the application on my phone and just do the exact same thing. We're going to press import, scan, and then we're going to scan that QR code on the Blockstream Jade. There it is. All three keys are set on my phone. All three keys are set on the Mac. I'm going to press the create button on my phone, create button on the Mac, and done. That is how you set up a multi-device or multi-hardware, multi-sig wallet on Blue Wallet. Now, Blue Wallet does support multiple different types of hardware wallets for syncing with their applications. And I have a little list here. It's Cold Card, Keystone, Spectre DIY, which is a software wallet on your Mac, Seed Signer, Kobo Vault, and the Blockstream Jade. At least that's the list that I could find. If you are aware of a wallet that works with Blue Wallet uh, in terms of a hardware device connecting to Blue Wallet, please leave a note down in the comments. And while you're down there, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay, that was pretty simple. So in order to send some Bitcoin to this wallet, it's pretty simple actually. You just press the receive button and that gives you an option to press this address, you copy the address to your clipboard, you paste it in another wallet and send Bitcoin to that address. I'm going to do that right now. It's going to take some time to confirm. So I will be back when that confirms. Okay. The transaction has confirmed outstanding. And you can see that there is some Bitcoin in the wallet down up here as well. And over here. So now we need to figure out how to send the Bitcoin that we have in the wallet out of the wallet to a different address because I don't want it in here and I need to show you how to do it. So you would think you would just click the send button, type in an address in here or paste an address into here and you can scan a QR code if you want to and make a little note to yourself and then press next and off it goes. Well, that is not the case because let's take a look at the keys in this wallet. We're going to click our manage keys button right here. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I pasted the key in here. The first key, it was either create one or 
in my case, I imported one, but I pasted the key. And I also did the exact same thing on my phone with the second key. So the first keys on my phone and my computer are different keys. Then we swap them with the second key. And that's why this is a public key. It's a ZPub. And then down here, the key that we scanned from the Blockstream Jade is also a public key. So that's a ZPub as well. So we don't have a seed phrase anywhere else other than our first key. So we can't sign a transaction with this wallet, which is good because it's super secure. Nobody can get to my computer and send Bitcoin anywhere, which is great. But it can be a pain if you're sending Bitcoin out and you want to do it in a hurry. And also, multi-sig wallets tend to generate a little higher fees than single signature wallets. Let's go ahead and see how we send this out. What we're going to do is we're going to create a send transaction. I'm going to paste an address in here. Okay, there's the address. We have to specify how much Bitcoin we need to send. And I'm going to use the full balance. Okay, max. The fees are pretty high right now, but... Actually, I'm going to check them. I'll be right back. Actually, I just checked, and the fees are really quite low right now, about three sats per V-byte. But this is a fairly high fee for this little tiny transaction because it's a multi-sig wallet. All right, let's click the next button. Now, it should have been sent, but we only have one key in this wallet. We need the second key. And where is that? Well, on my phone. Remember, I pasted a key in here and it was different than the one I pasted in the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this transaction and we're going to confirm the transaction on our phone. Okay, so what we're going to do is press the provide signature button and that generates a QR code and we're going to scan that with the blue wallet application on my phone. We're going to initiate a send transaction on my phone. Then there's a three dot button in the upper right corner. We're going to click that we're going to import, excuse me, we're going to sign a transaction using the key on the phone. Then we're going to scan this QR code on my computer and it asks me to co-sign this transaction. Yes, I want to do that. And then I can press confirm. Send now and it is done. I don't know if you can see that. Done. Now, for some reason, it doesn't update right away on my computer but on my phone, it says I have a pending transaction. I'm going to go back here to the main screen and see if I can refresh and see if we can get a pending transaction listed on this screen. I'm going to log out of the blue wallet and log back in. I'll be right back. We are back. And now we have a pending transaction right here. It has zero confirmations yet because I just did it. But you can see that the entire balance that was deposited has now been sent to another address. And that's it. That will take a while to confirm. And then this wallet will be empty and I will get rid of it. That's it. So this is how you can set up a really secure multi-hardware device, multi-sig wallet using the blue wallet, either on your Mac and another device, another Macintosh, or your iPhone, Mac. And in this case, I'm using Blockstream Jade as the third key, but I didn't use that to authorize a transaction. I think I could have as well. It's just so easy to do it with the Blue Wallet app on my phone. Now, if somebody gets my phone, they can't send Bitcoin out because there's only one key on my phone. If somebody gets my computer, same thing. Super secure, rock solid. That's it for today, guys. I hope that clears things up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.